Have you ever lost your temper at your child and later felt guilty? Here's something shocking. Every time we yell, criticize, or shame our kids, it doesn't just hurt their feelings. It actually changes their brain. Neuroscientists have discovered that negative emotional environments can shut down the part of the brain responsible for focus, motivation, and self-control, the prefrontal cortex. And that area isn't even fully developed until around age 25. The prefrontal cortex is like the brain's CEO. It helps your child make decisions, control impulses, and understand consequences. When a parent yells or uses harsh words, the brain releases stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These chemicals make your child feel scared or defensive. Their emotional brain, called the amygdala, takes over. In that moment, learning stops. The brain goes from thinking and growing mode to survive and protect mode. Over time, repeated stress can actually reduce activity in that front part of the brain, making kids more anxious, distracted, and less confident. Most parents don't mean to hurt their children. We yell because we're tired, frustrated, or afraid they won't learn discipline. But discipline doesn't mean punishment, it means teaching. And a brain that feels safe learns better than a brain that feels threatened. Studies from leading neuropsychiatrists, including Dr. Daniel Amen, show that children raised in calm, consistent homes have stronger prefrontal cortex activity and perform better in school, relationships, and self-control. So what can you do instead? Here are three brain-smart parenting habits. First, pause before reacting. Take one deep breath before responding to misbehavior. It tells your child's brain, I'm safe. Second, label emotions. Say, I can see you're angry, or you're upset because your toy broke. This helps your child build emotional vocabulary and activates their thinking brain again. Third, teach, don't threaten. Explain the reason behind rules and involve them in solutions. Instead of stop yelling, try, let's both calm down and talk about what happened. When kids feel understood, their brain releases oxytocin, the bonding hormone, which literally helps new neural connections grow stronger. The most powerful brain food for your child isn't in the kitchen, it's your attention. Just 20 minutes a day doing what they love, reading, drawing, or talking, strengthens their sense of safety and self-worth. That security becomes the foundation for emotional intelligence and lifelong confidence. So next time you feel like yelling, pause and ask yourself, is this good or bad for my child's brain? Because every word, every tone, every hug shapes the way their brain grows. A healthy brain builds a happy child. And a happy child changes the world.